Scientific opinion on climate change is a judgment of scientists regarding the degree to which global warming is occurring, its likely causes, and its probable consequences. A related but not identical term, scientific consensus on climate change, is the prevailing view on climate change within the scientific community. The consensus is that Earth's climate has warmed significantly since the late 1800s. Human activities, primarily greenhouse gas emissions, are the primary cause. Continuing emissions will increase the likelihood and severity of global effects, and that people could manage future climate change impacts through intense efforts at reducing further warming while preparing for any unavoidable climate changes. Topic. Scientific consensus Several studies of the consensus have been undertaken. Among the most cited is a 2013 study of nearly 12,000 abstracts of peer-reviewed papers on climate science published since 1990, of which just over 4,000 papers expressed an opinion on the cause of recent global warming. Of these, 97% agree, explicitly or implicitly, that global warming is happening and is human-caused. It is extremely likely that this warming arises from human activities, especially emissions of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Natural change alone would have had a slight cooling effect rather than a warming effect. This scientific opinion is expressed in synthesis reports, by scientific bodies of national or international standing, and by surveys of opinion among climate scientists. Individual scientists, universities, and laboratories contribute to the overall scientific opinion via their peer-reviewed publications, and the areas of collective agreement and relative certainty are summarized in these respected reports and surveys. The IPCC's fifth assessment report AR5, was completed in 2014. Its conclusions are summarized below. Warming of the climate system is unequivocal, and since the 1950s, many of the observed changes are unprecedented over decades to millennia. Atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide have increased to levels unprecedented in at least the last 800,000 years. Human influence on the climate system is clear. It is extremely likely 95 to 100% probability that human influence was the dominant cause of global warming between 1951 to 2010. Increasing magnitudes of global warming increase the likelihood of severe, pervasive, and irreversible impacts. A first step towards adaptation to future climate change is reducing vulnerability and exposure to present climate variability. The overall risks of climate change impacts can be reduced by limiting the rate and magnitude of climate change. Without new policies to mitigate climate change, projections suggest an increase in global mean temperature in 2100 of 3.7 to 4.8 degrees Celsius, relative to pre-industrial levels median values, the range is 2.5 to 7.8 degrees Celsius including climate uncertainty. The current trajectory of global greenhouse gas emissions is not consistent with limiting global warming to below 1.5 or 2 degrees Celsius, relative to pre-industrial levels. Pledges made as part of the Cancun agreements are broadly consistent with cost-effective scenarios that give a likely chance 66 to 100 percent probability of limiting global warming in 2100 to below 3 degrees Celsius, relative to pre-industrial levels. National and international science academies and scientific societies have assessed current scientific opinion on global warming. These assessments are generally consistent with the conclusions of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Some scientific bodies have recommended specific policies to governments, and science can play a role in informing an effective response to climate change. 
Policy decisions, however, may require value judgments and so are not included in the scientific opinion. No scientific body of national or international standing maintains a formal opinion dissenting from any of these main points. The last national or international scientific body to drop dissent was the American Association of Petroleum Geologists, which in 2007 updated its statement to its current non committal position. Some other organizations, primarily those focusing on geology, also hold non-committal positions. Topic: <inaudible> Synthesis reports. Synthesis reports are assessments of scientific literature that compile the results of a range of standalone studies in order to achieve a broad level of understanding, or to describe the state of knowledge of a given subject. <laughs> Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change 2014 The IPCC Fifth Assessment Report followed the same general format as the Fourth Assessment Report, with three working group reports and a synthesis report. The Working Group 1 report WG1 was published in September 2013. The report's summary for policymakers stated that warming of the climate system is unequivocal with changes unprecedented over decades to millennia, including warming of the atmosphere and oceans, loss of snow and ice, and sea level rise. Greenhouse gas emissions, driven largely by economic and population growth, have led to greenhouse gas concentrations that are unprecedented in at least the last 800,000 years. These, together with other anthropogenic drivers, are extremely likely to have been the dominant cause of the observed global warming since the mid-20th century. It said that continued emission of greenhouse gases will cause further warming and long-lasting changes in all components of the climate system, increasing the likelihood of severe, pervasive and irreversible impacts for people and ecosystems. Limiting climate change would require substantial and sustained reductions in greenhouse gas emissions which, together with adaptation, can limit climate change risks. Reporting on the publication of the report, The Guardian said that In the end it all boils down to risk management. The stronger our efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the lower the risk of extreme climate impacts. The higher our emissions, the larger climate changes we'll face, which also means more expensive adaptation, more species extinctions, more food and water insecurities, more income losses, more conflicts, and so forth. The New York Times reported that in Washington, President Obama's science advisor, John P. Holderin, cited increased scientific confidence that the kinds of harm already being experienced from climate change will continue to worsen unless and until comprehensive and vigorous action to reduce emissions is undertaken worldwide." It went on to say that Ban Ki-moon, the United Nations Secretary General, had declared his intention to call a meeting of heads of state in 2014 to develop such a treaty. The last such meeting, in Copenhagen in 2009, the NY Times reported, had ended in disarray. Topic: <laughs> Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change (IPCC) 2007. In February 2007, the IPCC released a summary of the forthcoming Fourth Assessment Report. According to this summary, the fourth assessment report found that human actions are very likely the cause of global warming, meaning a 90% or greater probability. Global warming in this case was indicated by an increase of 0.75 degrees in average global temperatures over the last 100 years. The IPCC fourth assessment report stated that Warming of the climate system is unequivocal, as evidenced by increases in global average air and ocean temperatures, the widespread melting of snow and ice, and rising global average sea level. 
Most of the global warming since the mid-20th century is very likely due to human activities. Benefits and costs of climate change for human society will vary widely by location and scale. Some of the effects in temperate and polar regions will be positive and others elsewhere will be negative. Overall, net effects are more likely to be strongly negative with larger or more rapid warming. The range of published evidence indicates that the net damage costs of climate change are likely to be significant and to increase over time. The resilience of many ecosystems is likely to be exceeded this century by an unprecedented combination of climate change, associated disturbances e.g. flooding, drought, wildfire, insects, ocean acidification and other global change drivers e.g. land use change, pollution, fragmentation of natural systems, over-exploitation of resources, the New York Times reported that the leading international network of climate scientists has concluded for the first time that global warming is unequivocal and that human activity is the main driver, very likely causing most of the rise in temperatures since 1950. A retired journalist for The New York Times, William K. Stevens wrote. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said the likelihood was 90% to 99% that emissions of heat trapping greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, spewed from tailpipes and smokestacks, were the dominant cause of the observed warming of the last 50 years. In the panel's parlance, this level of certainty is labeled very likely. Only rarely does scientific odds making provide a more definite answer than that, at least in this branch of science, and it describes the endpoint, so far, of a progression. The Associated Press summarized the position on sea level rise. On sea levels, the report projects rises of 7 to 23 inches by the end of the century. An additional 3.9 to 7.8 inches are possible if recent, surprising melting of polar ice sheets continues. U.S. <laughs> Global Change Research Program USGCRP the Trump administration released its first major climate report, the Fourth National Climate Assessment NCA4, on November 23, 2018. The two-part report by the United States Global Change Research Program USGCRP, was the result of two years of work by a team from 13 federal agencies with National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, as the lead administrator. The first volume released in October 2017, a 2018 CRS cited The first volume, entitled, Climate Science Special Report, CSSR, released on October 2017 said that Detection and attribution studies, climate models, observations, paleoclimate data, and physical understanding lead to high confidence extremely likely that more than half of the observed global mean warming since 1951 was caused by humans, and high confidence that internal climate variability played only a minor role and possibly even a negative contribution in the observed warming since 1951. The key message and supporting text summarizes extensive evidence documented in the peer-reviewed detection and attribution literature, including in the IPCC Fifth Assessment Report. This was quoted in the February 1, 2018 Congressional Research Service CRS report Evolving Assessments of Human and Natural Contributions to Climate Change. Topic. Background Formerly, Climate Change Science Program The U.S. Global Change Research Program reported in June 2009 that Observations show that warming of the climate is unequivocal. The global warming observed over the past 50 years is due primarily to human-induced emissions of heat-trapping gases. 
These emissions come mainly from the burning of fossil fuels coal, oil, and gas, with important contributions from the clearing of forests, agricultural practices, and other activities. The 2009 report, which is about the effects that climate change is having in the United States, also said, Climate-related changes have already been observed globally and in the United States. These include increases in air and water temperatures, reduced frost days, increased frequency and intensity of heavy downpours, a rise in sea level, and reduced snow cover, glaciers, permafrost, and sea ice. A longer ice-free period on lakes and rivers, lengthening of the growing season, and increased water vapor in the atmosphere have also been observed. Over the past 30 years, temperatures have risen faster in winter than in any other season, with average winter temperatures in the Midwest and northern Great Plains increasing more than 7 degrees Fahrenheit 3.9 degrees Celsius. Some of the changes have been faster than previous assessments had suggested. Topic. Arctic Climate Impact Assessment In 2004, the Intergovernmental Arctic Council and the Non-Governmental International Arctic Science Committee released the Synthesis Report of the Arctic Climate Impact Assessment. Climate conditions in the past provide evidence that rising atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are associated with rising global temperatures. Human activities, primarily the burning of fossil fuels coal, oil, and natural gas, and secondarily the clearing of land, have increased the concentration of carbon dioxide, methane, and other heat-trapping greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There is international scientific consensus that most of the warming observed over the last 50 years is attributable to human activities. Topic. Policy There is an extensive discussion in the scientific literature on what policies might be effective in responding to climate change. Some scientific bodies have recommended specific policies to governments refer to the later sections of the article. The natural and social sciences can play a role in informing an effective response to climate change. However, policy decisions may require value judgments. For example, the U.S. National Research Council has commented, the question of whether there exists a safe level of concentration of greenhouse gases cannot be answered directly because it would require a value judgment of what constitutes an acceptable risk to human welfare and ecosystems in various parts of the world, as well as a more quantitative assessment of the risks and costs associated with the various impacts of global warming. In general, however, risk increases with increases in both the rate and the magnitude of climate change. This article mostly focuses on the views of natural scientists. However, social scientists, medical experts, engineers and philosophers have also commented on climate change science and policies. Climate change policy is discussed in several articles, climate change mitigation, climate change adaptation, climate engineering, politics of global warming, climate ethics, and economics of global warming. Topic. Statements by scientific organizations of national or international standing This is a list of scientific bodies of national or international standing, that have issued formal statements of opinion, classifies those organizations according to whether they concur with the IPCC view, are non-committal, or dissent from it. The California Governor's Office website lists nearly 200 worldwide scientific organizations hold the position that climate change has been caused by human action. Topic. Concurring Topic. Academies of Science, General Science 
Since 2001, 34 national science academies, three regional academies, and both the International Interacademy Council and International Council of Academies of Engineering and Technological Sciences have made formal declarations confirming human-induced global warming and urging nations to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases. The 34 National Science Academy statements include 33 who have signed joint Science Academy statements and one individual declaration by the Polish Academy of Sciences in 2007. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Joint National Science Academy statements. 2001 Following the publication of the IPCC Third Assessment Report, 17 National Science Academies issued a joint statement, entitled, The Science of Climate Change, explicitly acknowledging the IPCC position as representing the scientific consensus on climate change science. The statement, printed in an editorial in the journal Science on May 18, 2001, was signed by the Science Academies of Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, the Caribbean, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Italy, Malaysia, New Zealand, Sweden, Turkey, and the United Kingdom. 2005 The National Science Academies of the G8 Nations, plus Brazil, China and India, three of the largest emitters of greenhouse gases in the developing world, signed a statement on the global response to climate change. The statement stresses that the scientific understanding of climate change is now sufficiently clear to justify nations taking prompt action, and explicitly endorsed the IPCC consensus. The 11 signatories were the Science Academies of Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Italy, Japan, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. 2007 In preparation for the 33rd G8 Summit, the National Science Academies of the G8 plus five nations issued a declaration referencing the position of the 2005 Joint Science Academies Statement, and acknowledging the confirmation of their previous conclusion by recent research. Following the IPCC Fourth Assessment Report, the declaration states. It is unequivocal that the climate is changing, and it is very likely that this is predominantly caused by the increasing human interference with the atmosphere. These changes will transform the environmental conditions on Earth unless countermeasures are taken. The 13 signatories were the National Science Academies of Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Italy, India, Japan, Mexico, Russia, South Africa, the United Kingdom, and the United States. 2007 In preparation for the 33rd G8 Summit, the Network of African Science Academies submitted a joint statement on sustainability, energy efficiency, and climate change. A consensus, based on current evidence, now exists within the global scientific community that human activities are the main source of climate change and that the burning of fossil fuels is largely responsible for driving this change. The IPCC should be congratulated for the contribution it has made to public understanding of the nexus that exists between energy, climate and sustainability. 2008 In preparation for the 34th G8 Summit, the National Science Academies of the G8 plus five nations issued a declaration reiterating the position of the 2005 Joint Science Academy Statement, and reaffirming that climate change is happening and that anthropogenic warming is influencing many physical and biological systems. Among other actions, the declaration urges all nations to T take appropriate economic and policy measures to accelerate transition to a low-carbon society and to encourage and affect changes in individual and national behavior. The 13 signatories were the same National Science Academies that issued the 2007 Joint Statement. 2009 In advance of the UNFCCC negotiations to be held in Copenhagen in December 2009, the National Science Academies of the G8 plus five nations issued a joint statement declaring, Climate change and sustainable energy supply are crucial challenges for the future of humanity. 
It is essential that world leaders agree on the emission reductions needed to combat negative consequences of anthropogenic climate change. The statement references the IPCC's fourth assessment of 2007, and asserts that, "...climate change is happening even faster than previously estimated, global CO2 emissions since 2000 have been higher than even the highest predictions, Arctic sea ice has been melting at rates much faster than predicted, and the rise in the sea level has become more rapid." The 13 signatories were the same National Science Academies that issued the 2007 and 2008 joint statements. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Polish Academy of Sciences. In December 2007, the General Assembly of the Polish Academy of Sciences Polska Akademia Nauk, which has not been a signatory to joint National Science Academy statements issued a declaration endorsing the IPCC conclusions, and stating, It is the duty of Polish science and the national government to, in a thoughtful, organized and active manner, become involved in realization of these ideas. Problems of global warming, climate change, and their various negative impacts on human life and on the functioning of entire societies are one of the most dramatic challenges of modern times. PA General Assembly calls on the national scientific communities and the national government to actively support Polish participation in this important endeavor. Topic. Additional National Science Academy and Society Statements American Association for the Advancement of Science as the world's largest general scientific society, adopted an official statement on climate change in 2006. The scientific evidence is clear global climate change caused by human activities is occurring now, and it is a growing threat to society. The pace of change and the evidence of harm have increased markedly over the last five years. The time to control greenhouse gas emissions is now. Federation of Australian Scientific and Technological Societies in 2008 published FAST statement on climate change, which states global climate change is real and measurable. To reduce the global net economic, environmental and social losses in the face of these impacts, the policy objective must remain squarely focused on returning greenhouse gas concentrations to near pre-industrial levels through the reduction of emissions. The spatial and temporal fingerprint of warming can be traced to increasing greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere, which are a direct result of burning fossil fuels, broad-scale deforestation and other human activity. United States National Research Council through its Committee on the Science of Climate Change in 2001, published Climate Change Science, an analysis of some key questions. This report explicitly endorses the IPCC view of attribution of recent climate change as representing the view of the scientific community. The changes observed over the last several decades are likely mostly due to human activities, but we cannot rule out that some significant part of these changes is also a reflection of natural variability. Human-induced warming and associated sea level rises are expected to continue through the 21st century. The IPCC's conclusion that most of the observed warming of the last 50 years is likely to have been due to the increase in greenhouse gas concentrations accurately reflects the current thinking of the scientific community on this issue. Royal Society of New Zealand, having signed onto the first Joint Science Academy statement in 2001, released a separate statement in 2008 in order to clear up the controversy over climate change and its causes, and possible confusion among the public. The globe is warming because of increasing greenhouse gas emissions. Measurements show that greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere are well above levels seen for many thousands of years. Further global climate changes are predicted, with impacts expected to become more costly as time progresses. 
Reducing future impacts of climate change will require substantial reductions of greenhouse gas emissions. The Royal Society of the United Kingdom has not changed its concurring stance reflected in its participation in joint National Science Academy's statements on anthropogenic global warming. According to The Telegraph, the most prestigious group of scientists in the country was forced to act after fellows complained that doubts over man-made global warming were not being communicated to the public. In May 2010, it announced that it is presently drafting a new public-facing document on climate change, to provide an updated status report on the science in an easily accessible form, also addressing the levels of certainty of key components. The Society says that it is three years since the last such document was published and that, after an extensive process of debate and review, the new document was printed in September 2010. It summarizes the current scientific evidence and highlights the areas where the science is well established, where there is still some debate, and where substantial uncertainties remain. The Society has stated that, This is not the same as saying that the climate science itself is in error, no fellows have expressed such a view to the RS. The introduction includes this statement, there is strong evidence that the warming of the Earth over the last half century has been caused largely by human activity, such as the burning of fossil fuels and changes in land use, including agriculture and deforestation. Topic. International Science Academies African Academy of Sciences in 2007 was a signatory to the Statement on Sustainability, Energy Efficiency, and Climate Change. This joint statement of African Science Academies, was organized through the Network of African Science Academies. Its stated goal was to convey information and spur action on the occasion of the G8 Summit in Heiligendamm, Germany, in June 2007. A consensus, based on current evidence, now exists within the global scientific community that human activities are the main source of climate change and that the burning of fossil fuels is largely responsible for driving this change. European Academy of Sciences and Arts in 2007 issued a formal declaration on climate change titled Let's Be Honest, Human Activity is Most Likely Responsible for Climate Warming. Most of the climatic warming over the last 50 years is likely to have been caused by increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Documented long-term climate changes include changes in Arctic temperatures and ice, widespread changes in precipitation amounts, ocean salinity, wind patterns and extreme weather including droughts, heavy precipitation, heat waves and the intensity of tropical cyclones. The above development potentially has dramatic consequences for mankind's future. European Science Foundation in a 2007 position paper states, there is now convincing evidence that since the Industrial Revolution, human activities, resulting in increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases have become a major agent of climate change. Ongoing and increased efforts to mitigate climate change through reduction in greenhouse gases are therefore crucial. Interacademy Council is the representative of the world's scientific and engineering academies. The Interacademy Council issued a report in 2007 titled Lighting the Way Toward a Sustainable Energy Future. Current patterns of energy resources and energy usage are proving detrimental to the long term welfare of humanity. The integrity of essential natural systems is already at risk from climate change caused by the atmospheric emissions of greenhouse gases. Concerted efforts should be mounted for improving energy efficiency and reducing the carbon intensity of the world economy. International Council of Academies of Engineering and Technological Sciences CAETS, in 2007, issued a statement on environment and sustainable growth, as reported by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. Most of the observed global warming since the mid-20th century is very likely due to human-produced emissions of greenhouse gases and this warming will continue unabated if present anthropogenic emissions continue or, worse, expand without control. 
CAETS, therefore, endorses the many recent calls to decrease and control greenhouse gas emissions to an acceptable level as quickly as possible. Topic. Physical and chemical sciences American Chemical Society American Institute of Physics American Physical Society Australian Institute of Physics European Physical Society Topic. Earth Sciences Topic. American Geophysical Union The American Geophysical Union AGU, adopted a statement on climate change and greenhouse gases in 1998. A new statement, adopted by the Society in 2003, revised in 2007, and revised and expanded in 2013, affirms that rising levels of greenhouse gases have caused and will continue to cause the global surface temperature to be warmer. Human activities are changing Earth's climate. At the global level, atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping greenhouse gases have increased sharply since the Industrial Revolution. Fossil fuel burning dominates this increase. Human-caused increases in greenhouse gases are responsible for most of the observed global average surface warming of roughly 0.8 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit over the past 140 years. Because natural processes cannot quickly remove some of these gases notably carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, our past, present, and future emissions will influence the climate system for millennia. While important scientific uncertainties remain as to which particular impacts will be experienced where, no uncertainties are known that could make the impacts of climate change inconsequential. Furthermore, surprise outcomes, such as the unexpectedly rapid loss of Arctic summer sea ice, may entail even more dramatic changes than anticipated. Topic. American Society of Agronomy, Crop Science Society of America, and Soil Science Society of America In May, 2011, the American Society of Agronomy ASA, Crop Science Society of America CSSA, and Soil Science Society of America SSSA issued a joint position statement on climate change as it relates to agriculture. A comprehensive body of scientific evidence indicates beyond reasonable doubt that global climate change is now occurring and that its manifestations threaten the stability of societies as well as natural and managed ecosystems. Increases in ambient temperatures and changes in related processes are directly linked to rising anthropogenic greenhouse gas GHG concentrations in the atmosphere. Unless the emissions of GHGs are curbed significantly, their concentrations will continue to rise, leading to changes in temperature, precipitation, and other climate variables that will undoubtedly affect agriculture around the world. Climate change has the potential to increase weather variability as well as gradually increase global temperatures. Both of these impacts have the potential to negatively impact the adaptability and resilience of the world's food production capacity. Current research indicates climate change is already reducing the productivity of vulnerable cropping systems. Topic: <laughs> European Federation of Geologists. In 2008, the European Federation of Geologists EFG issued the position paper Carbon Capture and Geological Storage. The EFG recognizes the work of the IPCC and other organizations, and subscribes to the major findings that climate change is happening, is predominantly caused by anthropogenic emissions of CO2, and poses a significant threat to human civilization. It is clear that major efforts are necessary to quickly and strongly reduce CO2 emissions. 
The EFG strongly advocates renewable and sustainable energy production, including geothermal energy, as well as the need for increasing energy efficiency. CCS carbon capture and geological storage should also be regarded as a bridging technology, facilitating the move towards a carbon-free economy. Topic: <laughs> European Geosciences Union. In 2005, the Divisions of Atmospheric and Climate Sciences of the European Geosciences Union EGU issued a position statement in support of the Joint Science Academy's Statement on Global Response to Climate Change. The statement refers to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, as the main representative of the global scientific community, and asserts that the IPCC represents the state of the art of climate science supported by the major science academies around the world and by the vast majority of science researchers and investigators as documented by the peer-reviewed scientific literature. Additionally, in 2008, the EGU issued a position statement on ocean acidification which states, "...ocean acidification is already occurring today and will continue to intensify." closely tracking atmospheric CO2 increase. Given the potential threat to marine ecosystems and its ensuing impact on human society and economy, especially as it acts in conjunction with anthropogenic global warming, there is an urgent need for immediate action. The statement then advocates for strategies to limit future release of CO2 to the atmosphere and or enhance removal of excess CO2 from the atmosphere. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geological Society of America. In 2006, the Geological Society of America adopted a position statement on global climate change. It amended this position on April 20, 2010 with more explicit comments on need for CO2 reduction. Decades of scientific research have shown that climate can change from both natural and anthropogenic causes. The Geological Society of America GSA concurs with assessments by the National Academies of Science 2005, the National Research Council 2006, and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC 2007 that global climate has warmed and that human activities mainly greenhouse gas emissions account for most of the warming since the middle 1900s. If current trends continue, the projected increase in global temperature by the end of the 21st century will result in large impacts on humans and other species. Addressing the challenges posed by climate change will require a combination of adaptation to the changes that are likely to occur and global reductions of CO2 emissions from anthropogenic sources. Topic. Geological Society of London In November 2010, the Geological Society of London issued the position statement Climate Change, Evidence from the Geological Record The last century has seen a rapidly growing global population and much more intensive use of resources, leading to greatly increased emissions of gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, from the burning of fossil fuels oil, gas and coal, and from agriculture, cement production and deforestation. Evidence from the geological record is consistent with the physics that shows that adding large amounts of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere warms the world and may lead to higher sea levels and flooding of low-lying coasts, greatly changed patterns of rainfall, increased acidity of the oceans, and decreased oxygen levels in seawater. There is now widespread concern that the Earth's climate will warm further, not only because of the lingering effects of the added carbon already in the system, but also because of further additions as human population continues to grow. Life on Earth has survived large climate changes in the past, but extinctions and major redistribution of species have been associated with many of them. When the human population was small and nomadic, a rise in sea level of a few meters would have had very little effect on Homo sapiens. 
with the current and growing global population, much of which is concentrated in coastal cities, such a rise in sea level would have a drastic effect on our complex society, especially if the climate were to change as suddenly as it has at times in the past. Equally, it seems likely that as warming continues some areas may experience less precipitation leading to drought. With both rising seas and increasing drought, pressure for human migration could result on a large scale. Topic. International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics in July 2007, the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics IUGG adopted a resolution titled, The Urgency of Addressing Climate Change. In it, the IUGG concurs with the comprehensive and widely accepted and endorsed scientific assessments carried out by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and regional and national bodies, which have firmly established, on the basis of scientific evidence, that human activities are the primary cause of recent climate change. They state further that the continuing reliance on combustion of fossil fuels as the world's primary source of energy will lead to much higher atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases, which will, in turn, cause significant increases in surface temperature, sea level, ocean acidification, and their related consequences to the environment and society. Topic. National Association of Geoscience Teachers In July 2009, the National Association of Geoscience Teachers NAGT adopted a position statement on climate change in which they assert that Earth's climate is changing and that present warming trends are largely the result of human activities NAGT strongly supports and will work to promote education in the science of climate change, the causes and effects of current global warming, and the immediate need for policies and actions that reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. Topic. Meteorology and oceanography Topic. American Meteorological Society The American Meteorological Society AMS statement adopted by their council in 2012 concluded, There is unequivocal evidence that Earth's lower atmosphere, ocean, and land surface are warming, sea level is rising, and snow cover, mountain glaciers, and Arctic sea ice are shrinking. The dominant cause of the warming since the 1950s is human activities. This scientific finding is based on a large and persuasive body of research. The observed warming will be irreversible for many years into the future, and even larger temperature increases will occur as greenhouse gases continue to accumulate in the atmosphere. Avoiding this future warming will require a large and rapid reduction in global greenhouse gas emissions. The ongoing warming will increase risks and stresses to human societies, economies, ecosystems, and wildlife through the 21st century and beyond, making it imperative that society respond to a changing climate. To inform decisions on adaptation and mitigation, it is critical that we improve our understanding of the global climate system and our ability to project future climate through continued and improved monitoring and research. This is especially true for smaller seasonal and regional scales and weather and climate extremes, and for important hydroclimatic variables such as precipitation and water availability. Technological, economic, and policy choices in the near future will determine the extent of future impacts of climate change. Science-based decisions are seldom made in a context of absolute certainty. National and international policy discussions should include consideration of the best ways to both adapt to and mitigate climate change. Mitigation will reduce the amount of future climate change and the risk of impacts that are potentially large and dangerous. At the same time, some continued climate change is inevitable, and policy responses should include adaptation to climate change. 
prudence dictates extreme care in accounting for our relationship with the only planet known to be capable of sustaining human life. Topic: <laughs> Australian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society. The Australian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society has issued a statement on climate change, wherein they conclude, Global climate change and global warming are real and observable. It is highly likely that those human activities that have increased the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere have been largely responsible for the observed warming since 1950. The warming associated with increases in greenhouse gases originating from human activity is called the enhanced greenhouse effect. The atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide has increased by more than 30% since the start of the industrial age and is higher now than at any time in at least the past 650,000 years. This increase is a direct result of burning fossil fuels, broad scale deforestation, and other human activity. Topic. Canadian Foundation for Climate and Atmospheric Sciences In November 2005, the Canadian Foundation for Climate and Atmospheric Sciences CFCAS issued a letter to the Prime Minister of Canada stating that we concur with the Climate Science Assessment of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC in 2001. We endorse the conclusions of the IPCC assessment that there is new and stronger evidence that most of the warming observed over the last 50 years is attributable to human activities. There is increasingly unambiguous evidence of changing climate in Canada and around the world. There will be increasing impacts of climate change on Canada's natural ecosystems and on our socio-economic activities. Advances in climate science since the 2001 IPCC assessment have provided more evidence supporting the need for action and development of a strategy for adaptation to projected changes. Topic: <laughs> Canadian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society. In November 2009, a letter to the Canadian Parliament by the Canadian Meteorological and Oceanographic Society states, Rigorous international research, including work carried out and supported by the Government of Canada, reveals that greenhouse gases resulting from human activities contribute to the warming of the atmosphere and the oceans and constitute a serious risk to the health and safety of our society, as well as having an impact on all life. Topic. Royal Meteorological Society UK. In February 2007, after the release of the IPCC's fourth assessment report, the Royal Meteorological Society issued an endorsement of the report. In addition to referring to the IPCC as the world's best climate scientists, they stated that climate change is happening as the result of emissions since industrialization and we have already set in motion the next 50 years of global warming, what we do from now on will determine how worse it will get. <laughs> World Meteorological Organization in its statement at the 12th session of the Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change presented on November 15, 2006, the World Meteorological Organization WMO confirms the need to prevent dangerous anthropogenic interference with the climate system. The WMO concurs that Scientific assessments have increasingly reaffirmed that human activities are indeed changing the composition of the atmosphere, in particular through the burning of fossil fuels for energy production and transportation. The WMO concurs that, the present atmospheric concentration of CO2 was never exceeded over the past 420,000 years. 
and that the IPCC assessments provide the most authoritative, up-to-date scientific advice. Topic: American Quaternary Association. The American Quaternary Association (AMQUA) has stated. Few credible scientists now doubt that humans have influenced the documented rise of global temperatures since the Industrial Revolution, citing the growing body of evidence that warming of the atmosphere, especially over the past 50 years, is directly impacted by human activity. Topic: <laughs> International Union for Quaternary Research. The Statement on Climate Change issued by the International Union for Quaternary Research INQUA reiterates the conclusions of the IPCC, and urges all nations to take prompt action in line with the UNFCCC principles. Human activities are now causing atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, methane, tropospheric ozone, and nitrous oxide, to rise well above pre-industrial levels, increases in greenhouse gases are causing temperatures to rise. The scientific understanding of climate change is now sufficiently clear to justify nations taking prompt action. Minimizing the amount of this carbon dioxide reaching the atmosphere presents a huge challenge but must be a global priority. Topic: <laughs> Biology and Life Sciences. Life science organizations have outlined the dangers climate change pose to wildlife. American Association of Wildlife Veterinarians American Institute of Biological Sciences. In October 2009, the leaders of 18 U.S. scientific societies and organizations sent an open letter to the United States Senate reaffirming the scientific consensus that climate change is occurring and is primarily caused by human activities. The American Institute of Biological Sciences AIBS adopted this letter as their official position statement. The letter goes on to warn of predicted impacts on the United States such as sea level rise and increases in extreme weather events, water scarcity, heat waves, wildfires, and the disturbance of biological systems. It then advocates for a dramatic reduction in emissions of greenhouse gases. American Society for Microbiology Australian Coral Reef Society Institute of Biology UK. Society of American Foresters issued two position statements pertaining to climate change in which they cite the IPCC and the UNFCCC. The Wildlife Society International. Topic: <laughs> Human Health A number of health organizations have warned about the numerous negative health effects of global warming. American Academy of Pediatrics American College of Preventive Medicine American Medical Association American Public Health Association Australian Medical Association in 2004 and in 2008 World Federation of Public Health Associations World Health Organization There is now widespread agreement that the Earth is warming, due to emissions of greenhouse gases caused by human activity. It is also clear that current trends in energy use, development, and population growth will lead to continuing, and more severe, climate change. The changing climate will inevitably affect the basic requirements for maintaining health, clean air and water, sufficient food and adequate shelter. Each year, about 800,000 people die from causes attributable to urban air pollution, 1.8 million from diarrhea resulting from lack of access to clean water supply, sanitation, and poor hygiene, 3.5 million from malnutrition and approximately 60,000 in natural disasters. 
A warmer and more variable climate threatens to lead to higher levels of some air pollutants, increase transmission of diseases through unclean water and through contaminated food, to compromise agricultural production in some of the least developed countries, and increase the hazards of extreme weather. Miscellaneous <inaudible> 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 A number of other national scientific societies have also endorsed the opinion of the IPCC. American Astronomical Society American Statistical Association Canadian Council of Professional Engineers The Institution of Engineers Australia International Association for Great Lakes Research Institute of Professional Engineers New Zealand the World Federation of Engineering Organizations WFEO Topic Non-committal Topic American Association of Petroleum Geologists As of June 2007, the American Association of Petroleum Geologists AAPG position statement on climate change stated, The AAPG membership is divided on the degree of influence that anthropogenic CO2 has on recent and potential global temperature increases. Certain climate simulation models predict that the warming trend will continue, as reported through NAS, AGU, AAAS and AMS. AAPG respects these scientific opinions but wants to add that the current climate warming projections could fall within well-documented natural variations in past climate and observed temperature data. These data do not necessarily support the maximum case scenarios forecast in some models. Prior to the adoption of this statement, the AAPG was the only major scientific organization that rejected the finding of significant human influence on recent climate, according to a statement by the Council of the American Quaternary Association. Explaining the plan for a revision, AAPG President Lee Billingsley wrote in March 2007, Members have threatened to not renew their memberships, if AAPG does not alter its position on global climate change. And I have been told of members who already have resigned in previous years because of our current global climate change position. The current policy statement is not supported by a significant number of our members and prospective members. AAPG President John Lorenz announced the sunsetting of AAPG's Global Climate Change Committee in January 2010. The AAPG Executive Committee determined Climate change is peripheral at best to our science, AAPG does not have credibility in that field, and as a group we have no particular knowledge of global atmospheric geophysics. Topic. American Institute of Professional Geologists AIPG. The official position statement from AIPG on the environment states that, "...combustion of fossil fuel include and the generation of GHGs greenhouse gases including carbon dioxide CO2 and methane CH4. Emissions of GHGs are perceived by some to be one of the largest, global environmental concerns related to energy production due to potential effects on the global energy system and possibly global climate. Fossil fuel use as the primary source of the increased atmospheric concentration of GHGs since industrialization. In March 2010, AIPG's executive director issued a statement regarding polarization of opinions on climate change within the membership and announced that the AIPG executive had made a decision to cease publication of articles and opinion pieces concerning climate change in AIPG's news journal, The Professional Geologist. Topic. Opposing. 
Since 2007, when the American Association of Petroleum Geologists released a revised statement, no national or international scientific body rejects the findings of human-induced effects on climate change. Topic. Surveys of scientists and scientific literature Various surveys have been conducted to evaluate scientific opinion on global warming. They have concluded that the majority of scientists support the idea of anthropogenic climate change. In 2004, the geologist and historian of science Naomi Oreskes summarized a study of the scientific literature on climate change. She analyzed 928 abstracts of papers from refereed scientific journals between 1993 and 2003 and concluded that there is a scientific consensus on the reality of anthropogenic climate change. Oreskes divided the abstracts into six categories, explicit endorsement of the consensus position, evaluation of impacts, mitigation proposals, methods, paleoclimate analysis, and rejection of the consensus position. 75% of the abstracts were placed in the first three categories either explicitly or implicitly accepting the consensus view, 25% dealt with methods or paleoclimate, thus taking no position on current anthropogenic climate change. None of the abstracts disagreed with the consensus position, which the author found to be remarkable. According to the report, Authors evaluating impacts, developing methods, or studying paleoclimatic change might believe that current climate change is natural. However, none of these papers argued that point. In 2007, Harris Interactive surveyed 489 randomly selected members of either the American Meteorological Society or the American Geophysical Union for the Statistical Assessment Service stats at George Mason University. 97% of the scientists surveyed agreed that global temperatures had increased during the past 100 years, 84% said they personally believed human-induced warming was occurring, and 74% agreed that currently available scientific evidence substantiated its occurrence. Catastrophic effects in 50 to 100 years would likely be observed according to 41%, while 44% thought the effects would be moderate and about 13% saw relatively little danger. 5% said they thought human activity did not contribute to greenhouse warming. Dennis Bray and Hans von Stork conducted a survey in August 2008 of 2058 climate scientists from 34 different countries. A web link with a unique identifier was given to each respondent to eliminate multiple responses. A total of 373 responses were received, giving an overall response rate of 18.2%. No paper on climate change consensus based on this survey has been published yet February 2010, but one on another subject has been published based on the survey. The survey was composed of 76 questions split into a number of sections. There were sections on the demographics of the respondents, their assessment of the state of climate science, how good the science is, climate change impacts, adaptation and mitigation, their opinion of the IPCC, and how well climate science was being communicated to the public. Most of the answers were on a scale from 1 to 7 from not at all to very much. To the question. How convinced are you that climate change, whether natural or anthropogenic, is occurring now? 67.1% said they very much agreed, 26.7% agreed to some large extent, 6.2% said to they agreed to some small extent, 2 to 4, none said they did not agree at all. To the question, how convinced are you that most of recent or near future climate change is, or will, B. A result of anthropogenic causes, the responses were 34.6% very much agree, 48.9% agreeing to a large extent, 15.1% to a small extent, and 1.35% not agreeing at all. 
A poll performed by Peter Doran and Maggie Kendall Zimmerman at University of Illinois at Chicago received replies from 3,146 of the 10,257 polled Earth scientists. Results were analyzed globally and by specialization. 76 out of 79 climatologists who listed climate science as their area of expertise and who also have published more than 50% of their recent peer-reviewed papers on the subject of climate change believed that mean global temperatures had risen compared to pre-1800s levels. 75 of 77 believed that human activity is a significant factor in changing mean global temperatures. Among all respondents, 90% agreed that temperatures have risen compared to pre-1800 levels, and 82% agreed that humans significantly influence the global temperature. Economic geologists and meteorologists were among the biggest doubters, with only 47% and 64%, respectively, believing in significant human involvement. The authors summarized the findings. It seems that the debate on the authenticity of global warming and the role played by human activity is largely non-existent among those who understand the nuances and scientific basis of long-term climate processes. A 2010 paper in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States PNAS reviewed publication and citation data for 1,372 climate researchers and drew the following two conclusions. I 97-98% of the climate researchers most actively publishing in the field support the tenets of ACC anthropogenic climate change outlined by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and e the relative climate expertise and scientific prominence of the researchers unconvinced of ACC are substantially below that of the convinced researchers. A 2013 paper in Environmental Research Letters reviewed 11,944 abstracts of scientific papers matching global warming or global climate change. They found 4,014 which discussed the cause of recent global warming, and of these, 97.1% endorsed the consensus position that humans are causing global warming. This study was criticized by Richard Tall, James L. Powell, a former member of the National Science Board and current executive director of the National Physical Science Consortium, analyzed published research on global warming and climate change between 1991 and 2012 and found that of the 13,950 articles in peer-reviewed journals, only 24 rejected anthropogenic global warming. A follow-up analysis looking at 2,258 peer-reviewed climate articles with 9,136 authors published between November 2012 and December 2013 revealed that only one of the 9,136 authors rejected anthropogenic global warming. His 2015 paper on the topic, covering 24,210 articles published by 69,406 authors during 2013 and 2014 found only five articles by four authors rejecting anthropogenic global warming. Over 99.99% of climate scientists did not reject AGW in their peer-reviewed research. In his latest paper, Powell reported that using rejection as the criterion of consensus, five surveys of the peer-reviewed literature from 1991 to 2015, including several of those above, combined to 54,195 articles with an average consensus of 99.94%. Topic: Existence of a scientific consensus. A question that frequently arises in popular discussion of climate change is whether there is a scientific consensus on climate change. Several scientific organizations have explicitly used the term consensus in their statements. American Association for the Advancement of Science, 2006. The conclusions in this statement reflect the scientific consensus represented by, for example, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and the Joint National Academies Statement. 
U.S. National Academy of Sciences. In the judgment of most climate scientists, Earth's warming in recent decades has been caused primarily by human activities that have increased the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. On climate change, the National Academy's reports have assessed consensus findings on the science. Joint Science Academy's Statement, 2005 we recognize the international scientific consensus of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. Joint Science Academy's Statement, 2001. The work of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC represents the consensus of the international scientific community on climate change science. We recognize IPCC as the world's most reliable source of information on climate change and its causes, and we endorse its method of achieving this consensus. American Meteorological Society, 2003. The nature of science is such that there is rarely total agreement among scientists. Individual scientific statements and papers, the validity of some of which has yet to be assessed adequately can be exploited in the policy debate and can leave the impression that the scientific community is sharply divided on issues where there is, in reality, a strong scientific consensus. IPCC assessment reports are prepared at approximately five year intervals by a large international group of experts who represent the broad range of expertise and perspectives relevant to the issues. The reports strive to reflect a consensus evaluation of the results of the full body of peer reviewed research. They provide an analysis of what is known and not known, the degree of consensus, and some indication of the degree of confidence that can be placed on the various statements and conclusions. Network of African Science Academies. A consensus, based on current evidence, now exists within the global scientific community that human activities are the main source of climate change and that the burning of fossil fuels is largely responsible for driving this change. International Union for Quaternary Research, 2008 INQUA recognizes the international scientific consensus of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. Australian Coral Reef Society, 2006, there is almost total consensus among experts that the Earth's climate is changing as a result of the buildup of greenhouse gases. There is broad scientific consensus that coral reefs are heavily affected by the activities of man and there are significant global influences that can make reefs more vulnerable such as global warming. Topic. See also Four Degrees and Beyond International Climate Conference Climate Change Denial Economics of global warming Effects of global warming Gateway belief model History of climate change science International Year of Planet Earth List of authors of climate change 2007, the physical science basis List of climate scientists National Registry of Environmental Professionals Hashtag Climate Change Survey, a survey on climate change